Good morning, Matt here from West Coast Shaving's Daily Shave video series. And for today's Daily Shave, I'm gonna be doing another vintage straight razor shave and soap review. And for today's Artisan Soap, I'm using a new Artisan Soap from Brazil. This is Brisa by Inga Sabaria. For the razor, I'm using a Henkel's Fridor. This is a 1950s uh, round point, full hollow, uh, 6 eighths razor with this nice inlay. It says Friedor here and has the Henkel's twins. For the brush, I'm using my uh, West Coast Shaving Infinity brush. This is a 26 millimeter uh, brush with um, uh, finest badger knot. And uh, it's very soft and dense and it has, um, it has really good backbone as well. And last but not least, I'm using my Pareda loading bowl, and I put about a teaspoon of soap, press it down on the bottom, so I'm ready to go. So with that, I'm gonna wet the face, and let's get going. Just gonna shake out the brush and start loading. So I'm going back and forth in the bowl like this. So let's talk a little bit about uh, Inga Sabaria, so it's a Brazilian artisan, and uh, I noticed in the soap ingredients, this soap is a tallow-based soap, so it has goat's tallow and uh, beef tallow, as well as lanolin in the soap base, but it also has some local Brazilian ingredients, so I noticed it does have um, Brazilian nut oil, so that's something to look out for if you do have a nut allergy sensitivity. Be aware that the soap does have Brazilian nut oil in it. And it also has some other local uh, Brazilian uh, plant-based essential oils in it. Now I do notice that this soap is not a particularly thirsty soap, so don't overwater it. I noticed if you start out with a brush a little too wet, you end up with a bit of foam. So I'm definitely erring on the side of less water. But with that, I am gonna add about a teaspoon of water to it. It's gonna help me load some more of the soap into the brush here. And it's looking good. Okay, I've already got a nice amount of lather and there's more in the bowl here. I'm gonna start working it into my beard. Oh. So the scent on the soap, according to the label, is eucalyptus and mint. about half of the soap into the sink, but it's okay. I have tons here. And I find that the eucalyptus and mint here is very, very subtle. And um, it's more of a sensation than it is part of the scent. It's not like what I would expect in like uh, Ferrazzo Green or something like that. It's a very, very subtle scent. The scent that I get from the soap, surprisingly, is soap. So this is one of those shaving soaps that to me anyway comes off as soap, like a bar soap. So it's like a clean, soapy smell that I know is kind of like a novelty. Uh, nowadays we have a lot of these artisan soaps uh, out there and they're they have a lot of wacky scent profiles or they smell like uh, dupes of colognes or or these unique creations but sometimes i like to take a break from all the creed aventus soaps and and whatnot and use soaps that smell more like soap. Now this one 
to me is really a bit nostalgic. It reminds me of ivory soap. So that's what we had in the house when I was growing up. And that's what kind of jumps out at me is this uh, strong ivory soap smell from the soap. I'm just gonna get started into the shave here. It's nice and smooth. And I do like these soapy smelling soaps. You know, there's some, uh, some other soaps that I enjoy that really have a very soapy smell to me are um, Mitchell's Wolf Fat, which I already, I reviewed in the series. Uh, Williams Mug Soap, which is a favorite. Maybe it's not the best performing soap out there, but it has a basic kind of soapy smell. Um, another one, in my opinion, is Tabac. This one, it has a lot of scent notes to it, Tabac. It's one of my favorite soaps. But to me, for that one, the overall impression is a very, is just kind of a soapy, sweet, clean, fresh scent. One of the newer uh, artisans who came out with a soap smelling soap is uh, Oleo Soap Works, Boyd, which is kind of a funny play on words. And I think they were going for the Dove, like the Dove's uh, bath bar scent. With that one. This one comes off overall as an ivory, like a very strong ivory scent, ivory soap scent. Um, I'd say the scent strength is about a seven or eight out of 10. And if there is any mint or eucalyptus, it's really just in the sensation on my face. So I feel a little bit of a cooling sensation on my face. Overall, the feel of this soap is really nice. It has a light feeling to it. Which again is kind of nice uh, break from a lot of the new artisan soaps that are out there are really dense and have like almost like a moisturizing feel to it. This one has kind of a light and airy, kind of a fuzzy feel on my face. It also, it's not making like a very high structured lather, but what is there is slick and does the job. Very nice performing. It feels great. Pass two. I'm gonna do the cheeks first. Just had a haircut, so I'm cleaning up these sideburns a little bit. What nice about straight razors is makes this very easy to do any shaping around sideburns around. If you have a beard, it's really easy.
across the mustache. There we go. What I like about this German steel uh, vintage razors, one, I find they're easy to hone. So the steel maybe isn't as, maybe it's not as uh, stiff as some other steels. And I find them, the shave is very forgiving. <clears throat> Just gonna add a little more water to the bowl. About another teaspoon. Sorry about the running water. Just a nice, clean, pleasant smelling soap here that I've really been enjoying all week. I'm going to pull out the soap from the brush here. Plenty of lather from what was initially about a teaspoon of soap. Now for my third pass, I'm just going to go towards my chin. Again, towards my chin. And then I like to use these kind of shorter, scrubby strokes towards my chin. And then as usual, I do my dummy pass under my, on my uh, mustache area. Or goatee area, rather. Here, I shouldn't run that water. There's really not much to clean up here. As I can tell from the feedback here. Third pass is really just a clean up for me. It's a nice sharp razor. I'm gonna put a little alum on my fingertip. Let's get this area. So I'm gonna use a little bit of moisturizer. Oh, I missed that little bit of soap. I 
And as far as I know, there's no matching aftershaves to these, uh, to this soap. But what's nice about using the soapy, neutral smelling soap is you can use anything you like. It's not gonna clash. <clears throat> but today I'm gonna use tobacco, which is to me also a soapy, clean smell. Maybe a little bit powdery. In my comically sized bottle, the aftershave. It's great, no burn. Feels terrific. So there you have it. There's my shave, Risa by Inga Sabria. I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know in the comments, guys. Do you like using neutral smelling soaps, soaps that smell like soaps? Let me know if you have any favorites and uh, let's get a conversation going. Uh, thanks for joining me again and catch you next time.